common feature found on modern vehicles is the Service Reminder Interval, or SRI. How this information is displayed can vary, but the most common are shown here. A small wrench, as seen on the left, or the ServiceNow message on the right. After the scheduled maintenance has been performed, you will need to reset the SRI. There are two variations on how the SRI can be reset with VCDS. In the first example, a non-UDS instrument cluster, just click on the SRI button. VCDS will connect to the instrument cluster and retrieve data from different adaptation channels. This takes just a moment. Once VCDS has the information, it is displayed on the screen. From the drop menu at the top, you need to select the function to be performed, Service Reset, in this example. After your choice has been made, click on the Perform SRI button at the bottom of the screen. VCDS again goes back into the instrument cluster and makes the needed changes automatically for you to reset the SRI warning. Then we'll display the message, the new values have been saved successfully, SRI reset complete. Click OK, then Done Go Back. With the UDS protocol instrument clusters, you do not use the SRI reset function. If you do, VCDS will automatically alert you of this and instruct you to scan the instrument cluster directly. Click on Select, then 17 Instruments button. From the Open Controller screen, click on the Adaptation button. A new window will pop up. From the Channel drop-down menu, select ESI Resetting option. Now from the New Value drop-down menu, select the Reset option and click the Do It button. VCDS will ask you to confirm. Click Yes. A message confirming the change has been made will appear. Click OK, then the Go Back button. Now exit out of the instrument cluster. This completes the SRI reset. For additional information on this, please visit the Rostec Wiki website.